morning, it's the 4th, uh, Tuesday, the 4th of uh, January and I think the Covid crisis begins. Uh, I'm still, I don't know, I'm going to take a text out in town this morning because our all is run up, he's, he's come down with it. And uh, we're supposed to have a load of pigs going this morning, they've been cancelled because uh, uh, slaughterhouse is down on staff so I don't know what to say really. Um, you know, we, we haven't even got to 8 o'clock yet and it's started so we'll see what to, uh, today brings. Uh, but I mean it won't bother us much but I think it'll uh, bother the uh, food supply and people will use it as an excuse to sort of bang prices up or one thing or another and I mean it's just going to be turmoil. I don't know. But anyway, so turn the lights off so I don't dazzle this pillar. A few people about though I suppose. Anyway I'm loading a load of wheat is here now. I'm a bit late for him actually. But uh, we'll get him loaded. Certainly different. It's bloody lovely, actually. It's nice and dry. Sun's sun's climbing. There ain't many clouds in the sky. But uh, yeah, totally different. It was 14, 15 degrees here. Other than it's uh, a touch of ground frost this morning. So but, yeah, which is normal for time of year. But yeah, we're just taking a bit of muck out. These cattle are getting a bit big for these feeders. They're rubbing their shoulders. So I've introduced them to ad lib and I've given them how much actually and uh, there's a few a bit louse so I'll just have to be careful but uh, so yeah it's the big push to make some beef now First post going in in our cattle race. We found out that the standard cattle race width is 675, which I think is very narrow, but we've gone a little bit wider than that. But time will tell, but that's narrow to me, but it is narrower than our, it is slightly wider than our crush, so. But uh, yeah, dug past all beyond, or filled it, mixed concrete with this thing. This is older than me used to be PTO drive but I changed it to go off at Far Cliff and now it's hydraulic drive and bloody hell we mix up cement with that just for little jobs real handy so yeah that's the first posting so next now we're gonna get build a gate to go in well we've got some gates build a gate to go here 12 put on put another post all in and then probably do same again and then put crushing place and we just sort of make it up from here really make it up as we go along don't we all yeah yeah oh.
we're uh, just tidying a few tr well grounds frosty we're just tidying some trees up um, you know so we can travel because uh, we aren't making a mess actually he's pulling on calm yeah it'll probably kill a bit but uh, he isn't sinking and bogging out of sight so but yeah while it's frosty we're just sort of taking advantage and uh, and uh, cleaning a few of these uh, willow trees what have come down uh, we've got this is the biggest and then there's a couple of little ones what he wants him uh, him to gather up we might even take that bugger down because that bugger will be next um, they grow alongside this beck which is a bloody menace really and uh, and our neighbour like we look after this beck we clean it out as you've seen in our videos but we uh, he approached the uh, the environment agency about cleaning his stretch out further down and they reckoned if he cleaned it out, he had to uh, reinforce the banks after he'd finished with willows, with willow coppies. Well, it's all right, that little willow cop willa coppice probably looks all right for, uh, for the first two years. And then after 10 years, they end up like that. You know, they just grow that fast and out of control and then they go over in, in high winds. And I mean, I don't know, I mean, look, You've heard me before wowing about the environment agency and maybe I shouldn't, but they just need to take, I don't know, I don't know who makes these decisions up, but this, I mean, that's a wrong one. I mean, uh, this is gonna take, this is gonna take water in the, for the next bloody 10,000 years, probably. I mean, yes, it'll change its cost, but there's still gonna be water coming down here of, uh, of some, some kind and another and uh, it wants to be looked after like and if they have decisions of putting willow coppets alongside it all it's just going to be a bloody night it's just going to be a mess you know so but uh so i don't know anyway rant over but yeah we're just uh tidying these trees up i just noticed i haven't been down this lane for a bit because it's so wet about actually about a week 10 days maybe bloody hell very very impressed it's a little bit of mild weather we've had has shifted this week unbelievable in fact it's it's absolutely i'm i'm 100 satisfied with how it looks i mean it's only one one leaf stage at the moment i mean it gets a bit more wet uh, warm weather and we're going to spring and it'll tiller and it'll look absolutely magnificent i would have thought there's a tiny bit of slug damage in yon corner and it is tiny um but yeah yeah our ollie drilled it has made a fantastic job as well so yeah, chuffed with him. Better than he did last year. He drilled it with Vardestead last year at Magnum. No GPS. Oh, you've never seen nothing as bent. But anyway, that was a bit of a cock up with me. I lost my way putting my uh, pre on if I don't know if you can see. I was a tram line over. I was running on, I don't know. I got, got it in my head that I was on markers, but I want. Anyway, to come back and do it again. So, but uh, no, it looks good. Next door's got a massive wet hole in it. We don't know. We, I think it's a spring. And one of the drains is unbelievably like running half a pot unless like someone's got a massive hose pipe in one end of it and filling it up. And there's no water mains whatsoever, so it can't have found a water main. Um, so there must be a massive spring in the middle of that field. But when we rolled it in, uh, when we rolled it in spring this the, last year, Ollie got stuck with rollers, sunk out of sight, and it was like, rest 95% at field was, uh, or 99% at field was perfect, and then he got into this area, and it just sunk out of sight with them flotation tires on and all. Made a right mess he did. So, um, might go into selling spring water. It's an idea. Yeah, the trouble is with willows, they grow real fast, and they get very precarious, and they start vulnerable in windy weather. And the wood itself, oh yeah, wood itself, it's crap to burn when it's, it's you can't burn it when it's uh, unseasoned because it's uh, full of sap. And when it's, uh, when it's seasoned, it burns real cold and quite quick. So, but yeah, that's what they do, they, they sort of split. You have to be very, very careful if you're ever taking a branch off because the way you cut, they're likely to sort of split and then go, take three foot below them you know and split in half like that but uh, yeah it's made it so we can get through track anyway we haven't made such a mess 
Yeah, our neighbour's got a look, good look on his. I think it's barley across. Oh no, it could be wheat actually, because it was beans last year, so it is wheat. Yeah, he's got a real good look on. So, <laughs> in fact, everybody has. Apart from one field of ours, which looks like two fields. One's got a spring in the middle of it, and it's, and it's really. I don't know why. Why in a dry time does a spring send more water up? Can anyone answer that? Because it, it bemuses me. There's a spring in that field there, and it's flooded out in one spot. And there's a, fl uh, a spring on a field at uh, a place called Burnby. And we had the rainfall, what a lot of people have had. And we're at, and it's flooding areas, is the, these bloody springs. You can see them trickling away, like. But why in a dry time does a spring chuck more water out? Can someone answer me that, please? Now then, I've just uh, spoke to our corn, corn merchant. Usually, uh, usually, sort of January is a, a steady month to sell, but it started off very, very strong. 225 at the beginning of the week was uh, feed wheat. Uh, barley was 222. Um, and um, and oil seed rate was six four five. So anybody with a big oil uh, heap of oil seed rate uh, uh, left, you've done very very well. Um, so but uh, but no. So yeah, it be dropped off a five at the end of week. So but uh, anyway, well, that's it for me today. We've just had a week of odd jobbing really. We've got a fair few jobs done, little snagging jobs on buildings and. Bit of tree work and doing this. Ollie's been making some and changing some gates for this cattle race. He's been busy doing that. We've done. We've had some pigs out, pigs in. Uh, so yeah, fair week really. Um, so, but right, that's it. It's been a short week though. I don't know. Gone really fast. So if you like these videos, like and subscribe. And as I say, we do a couple of weeks. Right, bye for now. I don't know whether you can even see me now in this light. So, bye for now.